Hello, in this video I want to show you two features of the input box here where you enter your chat messages. First the NIC completion and second the input history. So if you enter the beginning of a name and press tab, it auto completes that name. And if there's more than one matching name for that beginning, you can press tab repeatedly to cycle through the names and this is done alphabetically. And everything that's in the user list on the right here can be used for auto-completion. And of course this can be used like if you're talking to someone and you don't really want to type out the full name or if you're using a command and want to unban someone for example, it can come in handy. And the second feature is the input history. So if you enter something and press enter to send it, then you can press the up arrow key to uh, go through the history items, through what you have entered. And if you press the down arrow key, you can go forward again until you get to where you started. So what gets actually added to the history? As I said before, whatever you press enter on gets added. But also if you enter something and press the down arrow key, it doesn't get sent or anything, it just gets added to the history and the input box is cleared. As you can see, it's added to the history along with the other entries. So what actually happens if you go to an entry and then change that? If you press the enter key again, it's the same as if you would have entered it from scratch. So it just sends it adds it to the history and clears the input box. As you can see, it's added to the history alongside with the other entries. So what if you edit something and press the down arrow key? Then it's again the same as if you would have ended it from scratch. It gets added to the history and the input box is cleared, as you can see. So what if you go back in the history and edit something and press the up arrow key? The up arrow key always does the same thing, it goes back to the previous history entry. So it goes to the previous entry and if you press down again, it goes back to the original unedited history entry. So this can be used if you like R as a history entry and edit it and you decide you want to start it over, you can just go up and down and you get the original entry again. So this only works in the if you are actually in the history. If you are just entering something from scratch and you go up, you go back to the previous entry, but um, if you go down again, it completely clears the input box. So this is a nice little side effect that can also be used to just clear the input. Like if you type something, you can just press up and down and it's cleared. So you don't have to like press um, backspace to clear it or something like that. And of course, as I said earlier, you can also use the down arrow key after you entered something and then it gets cleared as well, but added to the history. So if you don't mind it being added to the history, or if you may even want to send it later on, then this can be useful. Okay, so Everything that's added to the history is only added once. So let's say you send this again, text 5, then it's of course um, right here at the newest history entry, but it's not back here anymore. So <clears throat> it's not a history of what you entered when, it's just to make it easier to get back to stuff that you previously entered so you can enter it again more easily. So for example, if you typing a command and just want to change the value a little bit or something like that, you can easily use this of course also if you like enter something and you want even more frequencies, you can use it for that. Okay, so only stuff you entered since you opened the channel keeps uh, stays in the input history. So stuff you entered like three days ago isn't in there anymore unless of course you had chatty running all the time and the channel open. So yeah, only stuff you 
entered since you joined the channel. And it's also per channel, so if I go to another channel, the stuff I entered there, I entered in this channel won't be in there, it's only the stuff I put in the history here. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, I hope it was understandable and at least a little bit helpful. Thanks for watching and goodbye.